how important are macros? Do they matter a lot? Do they matter a little? How much emphasis should we place on them? There's a lot that is confusing with macros when we start off, and I want to dive into that and really dissect it today. So strap in and get ready for episode 113. Let's go! I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian. I will be your host today. And before we dive in, to today's episode. I want to talk to y'all about something. So if you have not been over to our YouTube channel, you need to go check it out because every week I post two videos that coincide with a lot of stuff that I talk about in the podcast. And this month, in the month of March, I'm excited because we're talking a lot about nutrition. And it's super important. Every video that I'm releasing on YouTube is directly in relation to that. And I share a lot of good info, a lot of good tips about meal prepping, and how to set yourself up for success with your food. So if you haven't been over there, go youtube.com slash bones to bulk. Check out the channel, subscribe, follow. That way you won't miss any future videos. All right, with that being said, let's jump in to today's content. I remember when I watched the Rocky movies for the first time. I remember how I felt seeing Rocky Balboa go up against Apollo Creed. There was something in that hunger for something more, something in that drive that just stirred something within me. And it was, it went deeper than just the the physical aspects because yes, I was a skinny dude and I wanted to be buff like Sylvester Stallone. It went to a deeper level because, you know, in the movie, Sylvester Stallone is, he's searching for something more within himself. He wants to know that he can go the distance, that he can go toe to toe with Apollo Creed, that he's capable and has the, he has what it takes. And I could definitely relate to that as a 20, 21 year old, because I lacked a lot of self-esteem. I lacked a lot of confidence. I, I just had a lot of internal struggles going on in my life at that time. And so I could really relate to Rocky Balboa's character on that level because he had all those inner demons that he was facing of, you know, where he had come from and was he capable and could he conquer like the stuff that had happened to him in his life. And I, I really related to that. And that's what drew me into that story. That's what drew me into wanting to change my physical appearance. And, you know, as you know, if you've listened to the podcast for any length of time, or if you're new, like the, the physical realm, it truly transformed me, not just physically, but mentally and everything. And my life was forever changed. And when we talk about macros, I know for me, when I started, I didn't know what a macro was. People would be like, oh, your macros, your macros. And I was like, what in the world are you talking about? Like, I had no clue. It was like, someone was speaking a foreign language and macros are literally just the breakdown of where our calories come from. So our calories come from one of three sources, protein, fats, or carbohydrates. Like every single food we eat is broken up into one of those macronutrients. That's what those are called. Protein, carbs, and fats are called macronutrients. And macronutrients are important. They are. It's important to kind of know where you're getting your calories from. I always suggest if you've never counted calories to download a free app, my fitness pal or the Fitbit app. Uh, there's there any, I mean, just type in calorie calculator. There's a ton of them out there and just track what you eat for a couple of weeks. You'll, your eyes will be open to what's actually in your food, but I don't want to dive too much into that aspect of it today. But what I do want to mention is for as far as like protein, you want to make sure you're getting at least one gram per pound of body weight. If you're trying to gain muscle and mass, Uh, personally, I do take more than that. You can do like one to 1.5. You can even go higher. There's a lot of debate on whether, you know, there's any effectiveness to consuming more protein. And even if you're on a weight loss journey, increasing your protein intake can definitely help you lose weight as well because it's more filling. It helps keeps you satiated longer. So you're not overeating as much. So that's important to get enough protein. It really is. It's easy to micromanage the macros. And what I mean by that is you're so consumed with, you know, 32.5% has to be from protein and 37.3.29 has to be from carbohydrates. And I have to have, you know, 25 point and, and we fine tune it so much that it's exhausting. 
here's the thing. If you're getting that minimum amount of protein, like you're you're making sure that your protein's covered and you're eating good, healthy foods. In other words, you're not getting empty calories like from pizza or Pop-Tarts or Oreos or ice cream or, you know, you or fast food joints or restaurants for all your meals. Like if you're getting good meals, lean meats, like chicken and turkey and fish, healthy carbohydrates like oatmeal and rice and quinoa and kush kush, uh, sweet potatoes, red potatoes, like all those good healthy carbs, whole wheat pasta, whole wheat breads. And then you're getting lots of veggies, lots of virus veggies, lots of fruit. And then you're doing healthy fats, things like avocado and tree nuts, almonds, cashews, some peanut butter, some almond butter. And you're getting this well-balanced, rounded nutritional intake. You don't have to worry about your macros. Worry about getting enough protein, which is pretty easy to do. Like one, one gram per pound of body weight, you know, that's not that hard to do, especially if you take a couple scoops of whey protein throughout the day. You can hit your protein pretty easy. And then don't overstress the macros. You know, we place so much emphasis on excluding whole food groups. Like, oh, you can't eat all carbs or you can't eat anything except unless it comes from an animal or you can't eat any animal products. Like there's so much dissension out there. And here's the thing. Different things work for everybody. What may work for one person may not work for the other, and that's fine. Now, I will say this. I don't think that any restricted diet is beneficial long term. And what I mean by that is, you know, people who start keto or carnivore or anything like that, I'm highly against it. Because A, I don't think it's healthy. Like, I truly believe that our bodies function best when we have all three of the macronutrients. In other words, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. I truly, truly believe that. I know for me, I've tried different things. Like I tried the vegan diet. I've tried, I've tried a lot of different things. And I know for me personally, when I have a well balance of everything, I feel like I'm at my peak performance. When I'm getting that well-rounded nutritional intake, that's when I function the best. That's when I have the most energy, the most mental clarity. And you can't tell me that excluding an entire food group is a good thing. Like You just can't. Like If you believe that, more power to you. I hope it works out for you long-term. But here's the thing. So many of these diets are new. Like Keto hasn't been around forever. And there's a reason for that. And so, you know, we don't know a lot of the long-term effects on our bodies from some of these diets. Like carnivore, I'm telling you, the long-term effects of carnivore are not going to be healthy for you. Not eating vegetables, not eating fruit. Come on, like think rationally here. Like how is that a good thing? You know what's funny? If you talk to anybody who's like 100 or older and they always ask that question, like what's your secret to life? Nine times out of 10, they say it's all about moderation. That's right, moderation. And that goes for other things. You know, I post a lot of things about not eating certain foods and avoiding soda and all that. And I truly believe that. Like, there's some things I think we should never eat. But here's the thing. If you have it once, it's not going to kill you. It's it's not. If you start having it on a regular basis, then it is. And often when you're trying to eat better, sometimes when we have it once, then we're more likely to have it again and we fall back into those old habits. So that's why I believe that sometimes it's better just to leave some things behind us. But it's moderation. So don't be so concerned with your macros that you're just uh, you're micromanaging it and driving yourself crazy. Get your protein. Focus on getting your calories from good, healthy foods. Make sure that you're getting the right amount of calories in a day. So whatever your target goal is for those. And that's all you really need to worry about for real. There's enough to worry about with food than micromanaging your macros. So I hope that's helpful if you're struggling with like, oh my God, my macros are off, yada, yada. Like don't focus too much on it. All right, if you're on any social media platforms, we are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, a lot of good stuff going on. We have a great Facebook group. If you're on there, go check us out. It's Bones to Bulk. Amazing people from literally every stage of the journey who are there to support one another. I couldn't be more proud of that group. So if you're on Facebook, check that out. TikTok, we have a lot of fun on there with some videos. So, you know, just, just, uh, we're bones to bulk everywhere. You can find us. All right, so with that being said, remember, no matter what anybody's told you, what walls you're facing, what food obstacles lie in your way, you can overcome them. You've got this.